I have a message for fat people. Okay? I'm fat. I'm almost 45 years old. Might as well say I'm 45. I'm, you know, one more week. Um, 5'6", 280 pounds. I'm a badass. So, I recorded myself doing yoga this afternoon. Check my poses. Um, and order to do a couple of screenshots and uh, post them on my workout site that I, you know, I'm a member of. Now, I'm not new to working out. I've been working out off and on my whole life. Like, I'll do it for a month, three months and quit and, you know, and then go back stuffing my face with fast food and, and swelter in my uh, my misery, I guess you could say, and and cry a tear in my beer because boo hoo hoo, feel sorry for myself, you know, pity pity party because I am fat. Well, not anymore. Okay, no, I I started to today, and I, I'm gonna get to this. What happened? Reviewing the video. See, I have been working out now for about seven, eight weeks, and I feel good. I have my bad days where my body hurts just from working out, and then on those days I know I'm not doing anything. I'm not even going to stretch. I'm just going to let my body heal. And then I have the days that, gosh, I feel like I'm floating on cloud nine. Today is one of those days where I was floating on cloud nine. I walk around like I'm 125 pounds. Um, got some new threads, you know, got my shower in last night, nails did up, you know, toes did a couple weeks ago. I mean, I'm feeling good, right? I feel good about myself. Well, after watching the video and I'm looking, I'm like, Oh my God, you know, you, you see yourself as the world sees you with your mother's apron, saggy ass belly, your fat wide ass that's this big with all the huge dimples that, that doesn't even look like cottage cheese. It's freaking like craters. And you're like, how is anybody attracted to this? You know, and it's like, what, what does my man see in me? I don't get it. What does any man see in me? And I know it's confidence and self-esteem. Yeah, but I guess some people can look past all that. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just with myself. I... How can I say? I, I looked at that and my level went from here down to zip, boom. I almost started crying. And then I got to thinking, I'm like, you know what? Screw that. You know why? Because I'm not going to let this get me down. I am working hard. I am busting my ass. I don't eat fast food. I don't eat junk food. I don't eat garbage. I don't eat crap. I eat very healthy, densely nutritional foods. That's what I eat. And I'm going to continue to eat that way. Yes, I have lost some weight. No, it's not coming off the way I want it to. Yes, it's coming off very healthy. Why, you know, um, healthily. I don't even know if that's a word. But it's coming off slowly, which is healthier, right? Because it allows your body to adapt and regulate as you lose weight. Instead of going like this and then you stop doing what you was doing and then you go like this. You know, you just blow up. So, my message to fat people, fat asses, fatties, fatty fatty two by fours, we can't fit through the bathroom door. 
You know what? If you're doing everything in your power to change your life and your lifestyle and to be a better person than what you were yesterday, than who you were yesterday, if you're taking that extra step, if you're parking your car in the back of the parking lot to walk into the grocery store and walk around the grocery store and then walk back to your car, if you're playing with your children, even if it's sitting on the floor but you're being active playing with your children and you are absolutely doing everything that you're supposed to be doing, you know what, when that thought comes into your head, why, what does any, what is it that people see in me? You know what, say to yourself, I am a human being, yes I'm fat, but I am the most beautiful person in the world. Can nobody touch this? That's what you have to say to yourself. When you start walking with your head down because you're not feeling good about yourself, pick your chin up. As you're walking, I tell you what you do. This is what I do. When I find myself slouching, walking forward with my head down, I tuck my pelvis back under, I push my shoulders back, and I lift my head up and I walk with my head high. I walk with my head high. I don't care what my body looks like. You know why? Because I'm portraying to the world that I am confident and that you cannot bring me down. You can't touch it. You can't touch my happiness. See, the problem is, is we are our own worst enemies, right? People can say mean things, yeah, it gets in our head sometimes, but guess what? That's life. Bullies are out there. Assholes are out there. Stupid freaking skinny mini bitches are out there. I'm just throwing it out. They are. Okay? If the world was perfect, it would be freaking boring. I don't know about you, but I like a little variety in my life, right? I like to have fun. You know, and not everybody's the same. If everybody was the same, it would be boring. So, I mean, that's my message. When you find yourself, when those thoughts come into your head and you find yourself on the verge of tears and you find yourself walking with your head just a little lower and the sadness comes into your eyes, don't go to fucking McDonald's and order a Big Mac or a double quarter pounder cheeseburger and a supersized fry with a freaking Diet Coke. Don't go drowning your tears in fast food. You know what you do? You pull yourself up by the bootstraps and you get your ass back out there and you do it all over again the next day what you did yesterday. If you can't do it today, okay. Today's done. But don't get yourself down that you just give up. Don't give up. You've come this far. Don't give up. Honestly. Now, if you're out there eating fast food and drowning, but, uh, I can't lose weight. Uh, I can't. Oh, well. That's your fault. Okay? It's an addiction. Do your research. Figure it out. Stop it. It can be done. I did it. I'm doing it. It's getting done. I'm getting it done. Hashtag getting it done. Right? Follow my journey. You're going to see. I may not be no dang all 125 pounds right now. I'm still 280 pounds, but guess what? I ain't no 323 like I was a year ago. Bam! That's right. Love, peace, chicken grease. <laughs>